Hi there, welcome. Um, I'm making myself do a vlog because I'm feeling depressed. Um, so there you go. No, well, I'm feeling I'm feeling annoyed and I'm feeling ill, but I'm better than I was a few days ago. So I can pull myself up out of this. Um, I'm just I'm, I'm irritated as well because I've been calling trawling the pharmacies of Manchester trying to find somewhere who has got the prescription that I've been given by my doctor, uh, which is a no. Um, and I think it's a, nobody's letting it on, but I know it's a Brexit thing because I've had this before, where medication that I used to take is no longer available because it's um, EU manufactured in some way. And so it's only available to member states, which ain't us, but they don't let on because, you know, that would be, you know, that would be implying that Brexit and leaving the EU and not being part of, you know, the member states is a good thing. But there you go. So I haven't got the medication that I need. Um, my period is due in a week. Well, Friday, Saturday, maybe. And I know this because I'm pill controlled, but my period started five days ago so i know i've got i know i've got problems and that's what's exhausting me so my plan for this week in terms of reselling is going to carry on doing my lego i haven't done anything much for the last two days and yesterday i was stomping around you know i was going i, I regularly go to boots and then i went to a few a few others nearby and they didn't have it and then i was just like this is wasting my time I'm feeling really exhausted anyway because I'm having an unexpected bleed. Uh, I've got low iron, which is why I need these wretched iron tablets. I don't want the usual ones because they just give me diarrhea five times a day. Uh, so that just is counterproductive. Um, so I need to do some listing and I need to, you know, focus on that. Um, and then when my actual period hits and then I will be flawed because the last i mean the reason i've reached out to the doctor is because the last time i had it i one of the days i had to change my clothes and i'm talking about trousers i bled through onto my trousers three times in one day so that's why i've reached out to my doctor and that's another reason why i was aggravated yesterday because i was like I've been trying to ring them since Monday with no luck. Um, they will only let 20 people queue on the phone now at one time. So you can't really get anybody to answer. And then when you ring later in the day and you're number four in the queue, you're always number four in the queue. And then even when you're number one in the queue, nobody answers the phone. So I got that annoyed yesterday that I went and banged on their door and rang the intercom until they let me in. <laughs> so they had to deal with me. I did have a text message saying I had to get some form which I don't know why they've asked me that to fill in this form. It's almost like they're preempting what my problem is going to be and what medication they think I'm going to end up on. So all in all, it's all just, it's all just irritated me a bit. So the plan in terms of reselling is do this, do as much listing as I can. Then when I'm on my darkest days of the time of the month, I am going to do my accounts, which means I will just be sitting down and I will just be updating my spreadsheet because I'm very behind with that. And I figure that I can do that, scan my receipts in, get all them up. So then I'm ready for, you know, uh, the next tax, um, I don't know, envelopment. <laughs> I don't know. So that's what I'm going to do. When those days hit, I'm going to be just sit down and do that and that will be how I'm going to get through it. And I'm just going to crack on with that. I've already done my post today. It's quite late anyway. Um, I've gone to another pharmacy who, because I'm, you see, my other problem you see is boots that I've been using. Um, in terms of my inhaler, I keep being left without my medication. I run out of my doses on my inhaler five days before I actually get it. I don't know what it is. 
So I take something called Foster. I haven't got any lying around, obviously, because I only ever have one inhaler at a time. So I take two in the morning and two in the evening. So I think this is really basic maths. You have 120 actuations in an inhaler. So if you're taking two in the morning and two, two there, I live long and prosper. So two there, two there, in the, two in the morning, two in the evening. So four a day, which means 20 actuations is used in five days. Therefore, 30 days, really easy maths, 30 days is how long one inhaler lasts me. Um, they are insistent that I sh sh that they only have to, they have can order it every six weeks. No, um, order it monthly. But I need to have one in stock, which I've tried to get myself to this situation where I've got one in stock and they keep messing me up. And for some reason that when they, so they order it on the same day every month, which is the 18th. Um, Lord only knows, I haven't had one on the last 18th, so I don't know why they're picking the 18th. I, I don't even know. It must be, they must be doing it every six weeks because I keep being left without the medication. So they order it on the 18th and then they don't order it again until I come in and collect it. So if they don't text me or if I don't go in and mither them, um, but the last time I mithered them, they didn't have it. Um, the previous time my husband picked up because I was really, I couldn't get there. But for some reason they order it and then when they've ordered it, it's still another week after that. So it just keeps getting to a point where I'm stuck without medication. So I went to another pharmacy this morning because I just can't be dealing with them. So this is like an independent one. Uh, given the, this prescription that I've got for these iron tablets and the woman rang around somewhere and they didn't have it, which obviously breaks it, they're not going to have it. We're still not, you know, making phone calls doesn't mean we join the EU. Um, so she said she'll phone some other people and I says, look, I'll just leave it with you, you know, in your own time. You know, I'm not going to stand here while you're on the phone and you've got other customers here. So I've left it. I've left it with them and hopefully I'm going to set up having my prescription with them so I don't have to keep dealing with boots. Because um, I have no idea why they don't understand the concept of 30 days. Because the woman yesterday, I, I just got very upset and I just left the building because I just said, you know, I'm just, it gives me anxiety not having medication in. And I like to have one in the fridge. And at the moment, I can't even have I can't even have a spare one. I can't have an overlap. And I'm just getting really, really wound up with it. And it's just adding to stress. But honestly, it is part of all this austerity because now I live in when I lived in a predominantly white area, as in Salford Keys, which is it's you know is is white i never had any problem with my prescriptions now i live in what is a very diverse area it's mainly asians and um jamaicans around here where i live and you know the white people are students and people like me who i don't <laughs> i couldn't give a shit but it does seem like since I've been living here, getting my prescription is so difficult. So I'm just, fingers crossed that this new pharmacy is okay. Um, I just, you know, there's definite austerity going on. They definitely want certain um, members of the society gone. So my, um, my day is going to begin now, even though it is now half 11 but i've done my post i sold a I had a dvd of faulty towers which i've picked up for 25p and i sold for 12 um a really nice laura ashley top which has been kicking around for ages it was like really silky but it was only viscose um sold that for 16 and then some golf trousers by nike which some did taken up and looked like they i don't know there was some mark on the waistband so i let them go for nine because i just want them gone so I've done that and asked this pharmacy to please help so I don't have to keep dealing with white supremacists at Boots. Um, so I'm going to firstly plant some of these seedlings because it says here that I need to be sowing these indoors in March and March is nearly finished with. So I'm going to put 
them in some little planters because I don't know why I bought them and then sat them on the coffee table because nothing's going to happen with these on the coffee table. I've got some coriander as well. Um, but sorting out my balcony is something that needs to happen. Um, but listing on eBay is going to be a priority, unfortunately. Um, I'll sew them directly outdoors. It's so hardy that I've probably got some coriander and I made a mistake buying that one, but there you go. Um, but I'm going to put these two in. So they're just morning glories. Um, the type of balcony that I've got. We've got a sort of like pagoda thing on it. So hopefully they might. I'm not holding out much hope. They might climb. <laughs> they might. They might not. <laughs> they might go, oh, what's this? I'm not doing this. <laughs> Which is more likely the case. Um, I was going to put a hanging basket up because there is a bracket there. But if I put a hanging basket up in my world, all that will happen is hanging basket will bounce against window, smash window, and then we'll have a new problem to deal with. Um, the window is literally there, so <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> Can you imagine? It happened one day when I sat there, <laughs> and then the window would just shatter all over me. This, you know, you have to think these things because this is the doorway to hell where we're living. Um, yesterday, I'm still having problems with the toilets, and yesterday when I was like, filling the cistern up the um toilet brush decided that it was going to throw itself over so Eline it banged me on the foot which bloody hurt anyway because I had bare feet so it gave me a little nick on my foot fallen over and then poured toilet water bleach into the wound <laughs> so I was just like oh, this is uh, my life so there you go it's no wonder I'm like quickly losing it uh, it, it would, yeah, so I am pretty down, but I'm going to like try and laugh it off or something. Anyway, right, I will show you what Lego I have got sorted um, imminently. It's going to take me a couple of hours, but it won't be any time at all for you. Okay, it's 20 to 1 now. I have planted out some stuff. So these are, oh God, I can't even remember what they were now. <laughs> um, whatever those climbing plants were. And I've also, I've looked at the seeds that I've got. So I've got some basil. So I've put some basil in there and peppers, which will probably be a bit hit and miss. Um, chili peppers, I think they are. So these will not be going out on the balcony. Um, but I've washed this up. Um, balcony's looking rather rubbish so this is going to be one of my other quests soon i mean this actually had it's got burn mark on it this thing i didn't realize um we well we had quite a serious incident on the i think it was like the 30th of october um somebody sent a firework up so we've got this bit here so they the firework hit all of this lattice that we've got up there and then it dropped down here and we couldn't even get out because it lit the entire window here. So there was this wall of flame that was all along here. So it actually set fire to some of these pots. So I'm going to be chucking away a load of these. Um, so you can see there we've still got damage, which is annoying. But, you know, at least the door still closes. It's not completely melted it. There's still bits of the firework here. Yeah, you can see the bit of the firework there next to the trowel. Anyway, um, doing the balcony is not what I'm going to be doing today because if I start, it's nice weather. So if I start doing it now, I'm just going to have the dickhead from downstairs come up and have a moan. So that is done. So they can just get on. The sooner I, the sooner you put your seeds in, the better really, isn't it? I should have done it like weeks ago. So this is what I'm going to do now. So this is a set that I've got. This one's called Battering Ram. That looked exactly the same colour last night, but obviously it's not. Um, I need a couple more of them. I think I need three of them, which unfortunately aren't in all of that. So I'm going to put that together. I'm going to put some of these other things together and see what we've got. I'm going to put that one together. So that's what I'm going to do now. So go, go, go.
is the overview of uh, that pirate set that I've just done. Uh, well, I've got two here. Uh, this one, let's have a look. It's Forbidden Island, and this is from 1989. So everything's there. I will be putting mine on for £50 because I haven't got any of the original instructions with it. And these, as, as I was saying before, um, I've got broken flags. Although I've put one on there. Um, look, mate, we're, 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 we're focusing on you here now. So that has been chewed, which in turn means that that one doesn't stay on. So I've blue tacked it. Which probably there's probably some law now against blue tack since this laws against everything. But everybody else is here. We got this guy. Hey up, mate. Hey up. So he's got a hook instead of a hand. Hello. And one leg, a wooden leg. Yeah. Anyway, I've got most. I've got most lots of the spares for these, so I'll probably be putting that on. Oh, geez, I've just fallen into some other Lego. So it's got all the accessories. And it, it, this set is very much lots and lots of accessories. Coins and guns. Uh, there's a little thing there with more guns in it. And I think I've got all the right ones. Muskets and swords. Um, this guy. There's a prisoner in there. So... The guards in this set, yeah, the integral cannon. I mean, this guy could get out. I don't know why he doesn't. It's not locked. So these guards that come with this set, with these pirate sets, you have the blue ones, and then we have these ones as well. So this is this other set that I've got. Uh, so he's the Imperial Guard. I think he's an Imperial Guard as well. I don't know. You have these different flags because there's there's a blue flag and then there's the red flag. And I don't know. I'm not that au fait with it. So this being 1989, I did have this set when I was growing up, but I don't remember playing with it that much. Oh, yes, we forgot the monkey guy. Um, So I would have been nine years old um, when I had this. And I don't remember much about it. But there you go. I have I did sell my set of this last year, so I know that it sells quite quickly. However, it used to sell quite quickly to people in Europe. So who even knows if I'm going to have those European sellers in this one? Focus. Um, so this set here, this one is called... This is 1795 Imperial Cannon. So this one's from 1994. So at 14, I wasn't buying Lego or asking for Lego. I was asking for CDs and other things. So this is this set. This one's very basic, but this doesn't seem to be any advertised at the moment. I don't know if it's because eBay have done some whappy thing um, and changed the search criteria, but everything just seems to be a little bit off. Um, somebody's sold one on auction for 11 which just seems like wrong and then somebody sold it for 22 so i would probably put it on for 25 I mean it's very basic really when it boils down to it so that's what I've got to photograph these um, my other half this was going in the bin at work so he's brought this home so I've got to list that whatever the hell Brixies is but, yeah, it was going in the bin. Look how titchy this, these pieces are. Um, so this is what I was doing. I've got this spare box here. So I've pulled out some spare parts for this. Totally incomplete. Um, oh, I've got this guy as well. I've already got this set listed. For some reason, it hasn't sold yet. Because usually it sells a little bit faster than that. But never mind. Maybe I'm comparing it to the Christmas market when Lego really does fly out the door. So uh, I think I have I was doing this late last night, so I've not got the right colour match on those studs. So I need to get a yellow stud rather than a transparent 
green one okay and then yeah so i've done that that'll probably get a tenner these will probably all get a tenner this is so random so i've got this big bag here and then i've got another bag here so these are all technic things so this one what's that say oh yeah it's like a robot like a giant robot eight seven two two these are all from the 90s um it's definitely right because it's got this little car on it and i think it's got some other um decorated pieces yeah so it's got these eyes which are just stickers but they are correct so that spares for that so i'm just going to throw that on auction and then this although there's some overlap with the pieces with that this is another huge thing i think this is a pneumatic crane or something no forklift so there's a massive bag of spares there um again technics not complete but it had one little piece on there and i was able to work out that that's what set i had with that so those are just going on spares and i am not getting involved in trying to put any of that together because my my finger i mean you can tell my hands are awful i've put hand cream on and hand cream on um my thumb my skin here feels awful from technics um construction so these are the techniques that i've been doing and i have more techniques that i've got to do and i'm not happy <laughs> so i've got this model here and they're not even worth that much um i've done one substitution of one so one of these pieces i think has got to be um yeah it is it's two two point eight i've put there so one of those is supposed to be black but it's yellow so so be it this is a horrible cart um i mean what can you say about that that's got some gump on there from a child which hasn't come off with the bleach i'll give that a go with the spray i suppose so obviously that's how i knew it was this set because it's got decorated pieces and it did have this guy whose head i mean what the hell what were they thinking anyway so it's probably going to be 10 pounds for that and another one here another hideous go-kart <laughs> but you know they have these like movement on the wheels uh, it's just you know so yeah there's supposed to be a black seat there but i put a red one on because i didn't have that but you know it's done and then another technic set uh, same sort of motion on the wheels oh this one's quite cool i'm quite glad to have done this one so police 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 um i think they were stickered anyway correct minifigure quite happy with that one that one's all right isn't it I wonder what I've got missing from it. It's bound to be something missing. Always goes on the bit where I don't need. Right, so the helmet on this is supposed to be... Helmet. It's supposed to be white. And then there was a strip that was 1 by 10 which I've put black in and it's supposed to be white. Um, the chair is blue and it's supposed to be red. So I could switch it with the other one over there. Um, and then it's supposed to have a little fin on the back. So yeah, that's okay. It's not complete, but it's you, you wouldn't know, would you? Um, I don't know. I think the blue chair is actually better than a red chair. Why would I want to put a red chair in there when it's got all these other blue accents? It's got no red accent on it. So I'm going to leave that as the blue chair because I think that suits the accents better. I mean, you know, you can... That's the whole thing about Lego. You're supposed to be able to build it yourself. Um, been able to complete this guy. Um, it's complete except for some of the tools are missing 
from this little thing but I did, you know and one of them's black but I don't think it's going to be neither here nor there and I've actually got the instructions for that which is a bonus I've actually got loads more um spare parts for that there <sighs> but I don't know it's the wheels that I was missing largely on this and obviously these tools so we'll just um get that on and then I've got this car here I'm working on doing all my cars still but it's a long job uh, so that's what that is and that's what it looks like um, don't know what these sell for probably only about a fiver to a tenner they won't they won't be like impressive money and I've still got to do this in here um, I've got stuff in here which I need to put together, but thankfully I have just had a delivery. I mean, I'm surprised these didn't all crack and damage in the post because they didn't put any backing with it. They just put them in an envelope and they were shoved through my letterbox, um, my little cubby hole, pigeon hole in the hallway. Um, I need white doors, but they're really hard to come by. So I have one white door in there. Um, which is a set that I'm going to put together now and then I'll probably substitute some of them with these grey frames and then I've got these to do uh, this set here because um, I've got loads and loads of car bases and, win and windows so I'm putting these together um, I've actually got two of the same set here you know, can you tell? Can you tell? The only difference is, is that I didn't have another blue figure for some reason. I don't understand. I, well, Jason was watching television last night, so I didn't feel like sifting through the Lego excessively and making a horrendous noise while he was watching TV. So I probably have got another blue one. I'll have a look in a minute. But there's no harm in putting a red guy with it. I've got loads of these red ones here. I think that one needs throwing away because its arm is stuck in there. So that's probably going to be thrown away. That's a bit faded. Uh, right. Um, yeah, so still a lot more to do. I mean, the overview of this doesn't look that bad, really. I have done some tidying up. <laughs> it, it just looks a bit spread around. But I'll be getting all this away and having a bit of a clean up later because it just gets a bit diabolical otherwise. Um... Yeah, I've got loads to list and I haven't done enough, but I'll crack on with, I'll do these two now and I've got another set over there which I need to put together, so I'll do that now. Everything's there except for a sail. So this is what it is. Um, I can't remember what it's bloody called. Um, Lagoon Lockup, I think. So obviously I've got a sail that's missing there. They're very commonly missing. I might make one of my own. I've just got to find the, um, the measurements. There's people actually make these on eBay. Um, but everything else is there. Yeah, quite happy with that because this is all just like random stuff that was in with something else. Sorry, it's focusing on him. <laughs> but obviously that does go with it. Um, I had to go through an inventory a load of this because some of these pieces were damaged. Uh, these are the damaged pieces. So as you can see, his leg's missing. And these hats. 
one's got a bit missing off it another one's been chewed so it wouldn't ever would never fit um so this i think is around 40 to 50 some of them go up to 100 with the boxes in the instructions but obviously that's not me and then that one there um another one of these 20 to 30 things i think it's called broadside brig so obviously it's got a prisoner in there and I've substituted that door which is supposed to be yellow I've put a grey one on which doesn't matter because it does match the baseboard um, so there we go right so that's that's all the pirate sets done <laughs> and it isn't all the pirate sets done I have more um, which I'm working on at the moment so yeah I just thought you might be interested um some of these spare parts that i've got i'm probably going to put a spare part of uh, the minifigures on because i've got so many of them um i've seen people sell them for like crazy money like 40 quid for about 10 figures so yeah definitely worth me putting uh, some of these spares on so that'll be my next thing to do i don't know why this focus is going all crazy on here It'll probably give me a message in the moment saying that I'm dirty and I haven't cleaned anything. It's Friday morning, it's hammering with rain. Um, I haven't got to the post office yet, although it's half nine, so I'm going to quickly do my post and um, wrap this video up. Uh, but I'm going to show you what, I'm going to, what I've got to pack up first. Um, okay, I'll, I'll show you, I'll show you. Let's just do it, let's just do it. So a couple of books. Um, I think I've got about... Oh, no, that one's a three ninety nine. I think that one's a five ninety nine. This is all from the big um, load of books, the sacks of books that I got. So they practically owe me nothing because I've already got my money back on that. Uh, two bits of Lego there. Two pound for these. That I mean, my price is driven by other people's daft prices. So it's just a little container thing, but other people sell them for a, a pound pound postage. Um, it will go large letter, so it is what it is. Not the best. I won't take this out because I'll probably drop something that's an integral part of it. That doesn't look like the right minifigure. But it must be. Uh, that's just an Octan car. Please move away. Um, yeah, you can't see it properly, but if I take it out, I'm bound to drop half the pieces which are essential to it. Um, I've got to break it down anyway so that it fits properly in the parcel um, so that I can send that large letter. 5 99 for that. Um, it's a 90s thing and I'm still selling through my clothes because I'm a bit fed up with them. So these are cycling shorts. I've let these go for 9 99 because they were a fail, muddy fox. Don't bother with them. People kept ringing, kept ringing me up. Hello. <laughs> People kept asking for like crotch measurements on that. Really? Um, and then this is a Hobbs blazer thing. I've had this for ages. It's a size 14. Somebody had messaged me about it and then decided that it was okay. I think it is, it is payday, isn't it? So I've let that go for 15, even though it is technically brand new with tags. I don't do well with Hobbs jackets. And then I've got this jacket here, um, which does say that, every, I mean, I've been selling a lot of like jackets like this. This one's new with tags. They, uh, this company, Fix, uh, they, do, they like to do Brit Pop type things. They do have a presence on eBay themselves, so. Although mine's new attached, I've got £35 for that. But most of those things is like £3. £3 that I paid for that jacket, so it's neither here nor there. £35 is a good deal. Um, but it says to me that people are buying jackets because they've got sitting beer gardens in the foreseeable. So there you go. Um, I'm just going to carry on with things that I'm doing. I'm just feeling, I'm still feeling a bit low, but I need to just shake it off. Um, bin men are here <laughs> they saw me start the video so they came they saw we got the t-shirt come on simon 
but I've got a gap here now. Um, yeah, I've been feeling a bit low. Um, I'm like quite aware that the shops open in two weeks and I've hardly got my lockdown um, goals completed. So I need to shake a leg with that. Um, I know one thing that I did, I, I saw today, I, one of the people I follow on Instagram is a school, she's a, she's, she's a fiend, she's, she was never a friend, she was somebody who I was in the same year as, but she was a prolific bully. Not necessarily to me, although she did, she did bully me, she did try. She's one of those people who used to say like catty things all the time. Um, you know, sarcastic things said genuinely, real, real asshole. You know, a real. But I follow her on Instagram now because I'm nosy. And this morning she posted something about anti-bullying, and I just thought, oh, whatever. I mean, whatever. So, if anything, I'm genuine on here, and um, I hope that my new followers and my existing followers <laughs> like what I do because you know it ain't sugar coated and it's just stuff like that where you just share things because it's like the done thing at the moment yeah anti-bullying ah oh, be kind and whenever I watch Carrie I always think of her and her cronies and when somebody like that comes on with the be kind um hashtag it just makes me want to vomit so, okay, right, I'm going to do the post, get wet because it's torrential rain and um, carry on with listing. And obviously I've got to do a good tidy up because it is pretty gross here. So um, the Lego will be sorted out. My goodness, my eye is itching. Um, that's another thing I'm probably going to be doing is dyeing my hair, even though it probably won't go very well. But the condition of it is awful. Um, right, got to crack on because my doctor will be supposedly phoning me today so I'm going to speak to her and see if there's anything that they can do for me to help me through the next few weeks years months okay thank you for watching and goodbye Simon would you like to say goodbye oh, goodbye from me <laughs>